So, you call yourself an ogre battle fan? Well, name 10 ogres. I bet you can't. But real talk, we haven't fought any ogres yet in this Let's Play. At least not literal ogres. There are some figurative ogres, I guess. Anyway, welcome back to my Let's Play. I made a few changes. Look at this team. We got a doll master, a Tiamat, two ninja masters. We're taking advantage of that evil dead spell. And this team's got a doll master, a phantom, a sorcerer, and in the front, in the front, another Tiamat. But th this is not permanent. Tiamat obviously works better in the back, but they can still be a good front row tank. But the promotion of the Tiamat, the zombie dragon, was perfectly designed for the front row. And we'll meet one of those very soon. Let's go to Antanjil now. Scene 20, Angel. Okay, once we get midway into this map, you're gonna realize why this title makes no sense at all. But this map is very interesting in more ways than, you know, the, the title not making sense. There is a lot of land here, first of all. Not the biggest map we've ever been to, but pretty dang big. And there's one visible city in the middle. And obviously the boss castle. But where are the other cities? Where are the temples? They're all invisible. Yep, this map has the highest number of hidden cities and temples in the game. So you gotta like, send a bunch of search parties out. Thankfully, they're all pretty much concentrated on the northern side of the map. So just go north. Send some low sky or high sky units there and they'll have no trouble navigating the mountains. And I'm gonna deploy um, a fair number of units. Not everybody, of course. There's a lot of action on this map, and it's all gonna be concentrated in the center. Like, they're just gonna come funneling in. Even if their units don't have, like, flying units, they're gonna actually march through the water very slowly. So it's actually quite easy to intercept a lot of them. Yeah, see, I'm surveying the terrain here. Yeah, it's a pretty big map. Lots of hidden stuff. And the boss castle is nestled in those woods over there. And yeah, this city on an island, it's got a shop. It is um, a very quick shop to access, so if you're in need of supplies, go stock up there as soon as possible. And there are some other cool things about the shop, which I'll reveal once I liberate it. So yeah, let's get marching. I got my boys out. I'm just giving orders. We're gonna search for the hidden cities and temples. It's gonna be a good time. And if you thought the previous maps were crazy, there just just wait till you see um, some of the surprises that are in store. It's pretty wacky as far as um, ogre battle maps go. Obviously, I'm not gonna send everybody to the center, but. Your main combat units should concentrate over there. And um, for the northern side, I recommend sending like at least two. At least two of your flying units to start snuffing out, or excuse me, exposing or finding the hidden cities and temples. Why did I say snuffing out? No, 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 guys, don't, don't accuse me of, uh, of uh, massacres or war crimes. I swear, I'm only going to liberate them. I'm good. I'm a good Pasta King. The, the evil Pasta King, that's on the other file. You'll, you'll, you'll meet him again, don't worry. He's a real piece of work. Okay, obviously, I have one unit set to guard the base. This is why, it's because you never know what kind of sneak attacks the enemy will send. And yep, we're spreading out, we're spreading out. And yeah, Can Canopus, um, Canopus' unit was looking for a hidden city here, or... I thought there was a hidden city here, but it, it turns out I was off. But there's def- I'm definitely getting close, I'm definitely getting close. And, um, once, um, you found a bunch of hidden cities and temples on the map, once you found them all, 
you can um, reunite in the center. That's what I recommend doing. All right, we got the city. And whoa, look at that. Our coffin. If you've been watching my Let's Play since the beginning, you'll know that's a vampire. The vampire class is pretty cool. I covered it in an early video, but I can uh, cover it again once we uh, meet it in combat. Hee hee hee! Welcome! Hee hee! Okay. Inongo is a town populated by those who formed a pact with a demon during the ogre battle. Okay. Tell me more. When Gelf the Black was sealed into the earth, we were sent along! Damn. That kind of sucks, buddy. The seal runs along the cross... Runs along the mountains in the north, and we are not able to cross it! As a matter of fact, how did you get in here? Well, that's, uh, very easy. Oh, wait, wait. Please, get us out of here! We can't stand it in here! Yeah. So... We got here because of the Brunhild. The Brunhild opened the Chaos Gate. And yep, here's the vampire I was talking about. Three vampires, in fact, with a griffin. Can you just imagine a griffin carrying three coffins? That, that, that's a funny image. So yeah, anyway, we got a little bit of lore about this place. Apparently there was a Chaos Gate placed here, along with an additional seal to keep um, Galf, Galf the Black. He was a big figure during the ogre battle of many years ago, and he is evil, naturally. Okay, let's check him out. Now, vampires, they are a very tanky and resilient unit, but they can only really do damage during the nighttime. In the daytime, they hide in their coffins and have immense defense to everything except white magic. During the night, they are still very durable, not quite as durable as their coffin form, but still very durable, and they have access to the life suck ability in the front row, which allows them to drain HP. Yeah, so I, I don't think I need to describe why drain tanking is good. It's pretty much good in every game it's ever been in. And in the back row, vampires can cast the charm spell, which is kind of like the Lover's Tarot card, except it targets one character. So, pretty good, but I think using them as a front row tank is the best use case for them. Yeah, see how durable those coffins are? They just, like, keep taking beatings. If you really want to take out vampires, obviously, Princess, amazing, uh, Seraphim, and uh, Judgment, the Judgment Tarot card, also really good. And, um, yeah, your white magical weapons, like the one equipped on my demons in the front row, will do decent damage, but not as much as magic. Okay, so we got that. Hey, hey, see, there we go. It's officially nighttime, so the vampire is out in force. I could use one of my uh, charm items to recruit some vampires, but I'm already using vampires in my other files, so... Eh, maybe, maybe I'll use one in my main file. I don't know. Maybe. Vampires are pretty fun. You just you just have to be mindful of the day-night cycle. And use them in the front row. Although, charming in the back row can be fun sometimes, too. Just keep in mind, bosses are immune to charm. So that's not going to do much against them. Yep, I'm just wiping them out now. Vampires lose quite a bit of durability outside their coffins. They're still durable units, but keep in mind, uh, my guys are higher level than them. Yep. Easy come, easy go. I'm digging it. Oh, and don't you worry, there's more to come. My demons are very close to becoming demons. I mean, my demons are very close to becoming devils. And yeah, there's going to be all sorts of creatures of the night coming at us. Okay, here's the shot. Check this out. Joker Tarot will randomly be inscribed upon use. Basically, it gives you a random tarot card. It doesn't give you the permanent stat bonuses, but still, it's a random tarot card. And Crystal Ball shows the location of a hidden city or temple. It's very expensive. I don't recommend buying it. 
just look for the hidden cities or temples yourself. It's really not that hard. You can easily stumble upon them. If there were like 2,000 goth, yeah, that could be a nice little time saver. But otherwise, yeah, don't buy crystal balls. Okay, okay, so we got a city down. Chariots. Not the best, not the worst. Ma the main thing I like is the plus two strength. That's just always nice. Even casters need strength for physical defense. Uh, I don't think I want to make room for it. Okay, I could replace the star. Yeah, star's not that great. Golf keeps vampires around to guard him. But they are helpless during the day. Do tell. But try not to attack him at night. Oh no, you don't want to do that. I mean, it's not a big deal if you do, but they obviously fight better at night. Ooh, that's good. Spread the stab boost to my whole army. That's what I love. And of course, the World Tarot. It's a great in-battle effect. Definitely gonna make room for it. Yeah, I'll take out Justice. Not that Justice is bad, World is better. And I got a Dragon Sword. That's not amazing. Golf is one of the generals of the Underworld from the time of the Ogre Battle. Thanks to the three High Knights, he lost his power and is imprisoned here. Our temple is dedicated to making sure that the seal is never broken. Okay, yeah, so clearly, even though we opened the Chaos Gate, there's still some type of seal over the mountains preventing Gal from escaping. Ooh, a sorcerer and phantoms. White magic will easily take him out. But otherwise, you do have to be careful. Sorcerers pack a massive punch. And yeah, speaking of the High Knights, we still haven't met the third High Knight. That that guy, the third High Knight, I'm not going to spoil who it is, but uh, yeah, that guy is a very late game recruit. Not super, super duper late game, but pretty late. Okay, there's definitely more hidden stuff around here. Definitely to keep looking around the mountains, keep looking around the snow. Like, obviously, the hidden city and temple... The hidden cities and temples aren't going to be on top of the mountains, but in those little, like, openings, like those little valleys in between them, those are prime spots. Yeah, obviously, my uh, unit with the Tiamat is not a high sky or low sky unit. Because um, dragons have a very high movement priority, so that's a planes unit right there. It's taking a while for them to meet with Lord Pasta and Alan in the middle. And I found one eye over there. Way over there. Let's see what I get this time. Priestess! Not bad. Empress is obviously better, but... Healing is generally good. Yeah, hmm. Try to throw away a thing. Yeah, full is nice, but not really needed anymore. I heard that there is no one alive on the other side of the mountains. Is that true? Rumor is that there are only ghosts and skeletons in the forest around the lake. Uh, not quite. There are some living people. But yeah, like I said, a lot of creatures of the night are coming out to fight us. And, um, he could be referring to the, uh, neutral encounters. You can find, um, you can find some creepy stuff in the neutral encounters. I don't think ghosts and skeletons show up here. But I, I think, uh, you could find werewolves or tigermen. 
I would have to look up the list again. Or maybe we'll run into a neutral counter in this video. Who knows? Okay, Lord Pasta is getting some action here. Yes! With my Brunhild, these ghosts are no match. The thunder missing, obviously. But yeah, my monk is gonna wipe out all of those phantoms. Yeah, look at that. They're all gone. You're all alone, Mr. Sorcerer. Yeah, Sorcerer's pack a massive punch. But yeah, this guy is done. Look at that, look at that. Healing plus. Delicious. Yeah, and you're out of here. Don't mess with the best. I'm the main hero for a reason. I'm not even an optimized combat unit yet. I still kick your ass. Look at that, look at this guy. Look how tanky he is. Fast, strong, tanky. Lord Pasta does it all. Except cast magic well. He's not really a much of a mage. I mean, he, he can cast thunder. He can cast thunder in the back, but not as good as a muse. Okay, keep searching around here, guys. We want to gather those delicious taxes. I mean, the, uh, the favor and goodwill of the people. Alrighty. Let's see what we get here. Fortune. Eh. Who cares about making an enemy run away from battle when I can just kill them? And I lost a little bit of reputation. Boo. Rashidi wants to use the power of the Black Diamond to rule the continent. Yeah, I already knew that. How could he possibly get the Black Diamond? It was hidden by the gods! Oh, this person doesn't know. <laughs> ah, this person doesn't know. You see, Rashidi is a bit of a ladies' man, and uh, he seduced an angel. Yeah, if you watch my Let's Play, you already know that happened in the last map. Okie dokie. Alright, there's definitely a lot more here. I haven't gotten even, like, half of them yet. I think there's one right there. Pretty damn sure. I could use a guide, but I'm gonna use my memory. <laughs> Remember, this isn't my first rodeo with this game. I beat this game long before I even started this LP. And it's literally been 14 years. I started this LP in 2009. Oh, looky here! Zombie dragons! I told you we'd meet some! I told you so! Now, this is an obviously good target for any of your charm items. AKA Love and Peace. They're called Love and Peace in Ogre Mouth 64, but here they're just called Charm. Or Persuasion Spell, but... They can't settle on aim, can they? But yeah, I'm gonna use one. Because we want zombie dragons, don't you guys? I mean, don't you guys? I sure do. Obviously, the leader is immune. Hey, successful. Very successful. I love it. We're not going to deploy the zombie dragons in this map, but I'm definitely going to show them off in the next map. So don't you worry. The zombie dragons will have their brains. They love feeding on brains. Mickey the Vampire. Uh-huh! I'm gonna suck your blood! Uh-huh! If you don't subscribe to Disney Plus, you're gonna get it! Uh-huh! Yeah, we'll take these guys out. I'll do you good, Mickey old pal. Okay, so far no sneak attacks on my HQ. That's good. Always good. All right, let's get some more EXP for my demon boys. They're getting close to devil. All right, get a little choppy choppy. A little nightmare. A little other choppy choppy, mmm. Just letting you know, guys, those rune axes, any rune axes you find, very good against vampires. The charm. Oh, no! He is confuzzled. 
<laughs> why, why would you charm the same guy? What is wrong with you? You have no tactics. In fact, if they were really smart, they'd try to charm the sorcerer. <laughs> Stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! Wow, one damage. Hey, you gotta finish him off somehow. There we go. You see, you done goofed. You didn't charm the sorcerer, and he killed both of you. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Now look at that unit trudging along the water to meet us. I'm a coming for you. I just got, I just gotta do some more breaststrokes. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. Oh, look at this, Sylph. The Sylph class is the promotion of the Pixie class, which is the promotion of the Fairy class. And uh, yeah, the Sylph is uh, known for two things. One, having insanely high agility. I think they have the highest agility growth in the whole damn game, if I'm not mistaken. And um, number two, they have the Missile spell. The Missile spell is a white magical spell, so it can eradicate the undead, and it, it does solid damage. Obviously, not a caster on par with the Princess or the Lich, but hey, they're useful. And they're blazing fast. Oh, look at this. We've got Tiger Men. Tig three Tiger Men and one Evil One. Now, the Evil One's kind of a weird name for the class. In uh, later games of the Ogre series, uh, I think... Yeah, they're in Ogre Battle 64, and they're called Black Knights there. So, yeah... Don't be surprised if I refer to them as Black Knights by accident. Because that's what they are. Look at them. They're Black Knights. What else could they be? Yeah, you're no match for me. Also, don't you guys find it funny how Tiger Men wield maces? I, at least I think they're maces. They have claws. Why can't they just claw me? Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, you guys are just not on my level. Tiger men are pretty cool, because they have immense durability during the night. And they hit hard, but they only hit twice. Uh, werewolves have less strength growth, but they hit three times in the front row and back row. So overall, werewolves a little better. Okie dokie. We got three more bogeys incoming. Are they trying to try to make a triangle formation around me or something? We shall see. The fool. Thank you. Now the luck boost you get from the fool card um, comes in handy, especially for getting uh, items from cities and temples. And yeah, this guy's staying around to make sure that Galf is you know stays sealed. Galf has lost his power, and he cannot get out of his prison. Unless someone were to give him a little help. And we're going to keep looking for hidden stuff. By the way, if you're looking for buried treasure on this map, it's pretty much all concentrated on the south side. So there is something to do on the south side. You just won't find any hidden cities or temples there. I think there's one right there. Man, wouldn't this be much faster with a guide? Or a crystal ball? Nah. I mean, yes, it would be faster, but... One, I don't want to spend the money on crystal balls. And two, I have a little bit of pride on me. And hey, look at that. I was talking about werewolves earlier, and uh, here they are. Three werewolves in the front, two vampires in the back. That's actually a solid unit. That's actually a solid unit, like, because the vampires can charm and the werewolves each get three attacks in the front. That is actually a very formidable nighttime combat unit. So, yeah, kudos. The Empire did something well for once. Now, I did say earlier that vampires are better in the front row, but still, that charm spell is pretty good. Okay, I'm not sure I'm keeping justice yet. 
I hear that Rashidi is looking for the Black Diamond. Yeah, we already know about this. We already know. If you want to hear more about the Black Diamond, go to Kinshasa. Hey, I know Kinshasa. That's uh, the capital of the Democratic Republic of Congo. It's where the rumble in the jungle happened. And uh, it's the name of uh, Shinsuke Nakamura's uh, finishing move. If you don't know who Shinsuke Nakamura is, he's a pro wrestler. Very well known in Japan. Made a... Got, got himself into WWE. And yeah, he's, he's always been a good talent. I always like watching him. Especially now. Especially now, like, his, like, uh, current feud with Seth Rollins is actually some heat. Because they actually give him promo time. But enough about that. Look, the Sylphs are here. And yeah, that missile spell is, mmm, not bad. But keep in mind, they won't have, like, the same intelligence as a proper caster. So, the main thing they're good for is going first and eradicating undead. That, that is what they're good at. They are an undead cleaner character. They, they do their job well and fast. Yeah, they're done near. So yeah, if you want to um, race a fairy, they can be worthwhile. Mainly as a, un, a quick undead killer. Okay, let's take care of these guys now. Hoo hoo hoo. Write it out. Ah yes, the werewolf and vampire team I was talking about earlier. They'll be no match for me, but uh still gotta take them seriously. Having the level lead can make a big difference in Ogre Battle. It's not everything, but it's a big deal. In fact, the game kind of encourages you to fight enemies above your level, or around your level, but especially above. You get massive amounts of uh, alignment and charisma for um, fighting enemies way above your level. But obviously it's going to be harder. Whoever said the right road was easy. It's all part of the way of kings, the philosophy the game espouses. It's basically the way to play if you want the best ending. But savvy players like me know that you don't have to follow the way of kings word for word. You can you can have some deadly death squads, you can have some overleveled units kick some ass. As long as you know how to liberate with the high alignment units. Just keep a clean face for the liberations, and send your dirty guys to do the dirty work in battle. Who else wants some? Okay, you. Oh yeah, it's just the just the witch. We can finish her off quickly. I don't even remember what you had with you. It doesn't matter. You're dead. Get out of here! Oh! A blood kiss! If you guys remember, the blood kiss is the promotion item you use to turn a knight into a vampire. Will I use it in this file? Maybe. Maybe. But that's about it for this video. Join me next time as we fight more creatures of the night.